Today's Mass intention is for the parish. Contend, O Lord, with my contenders. Fight those who fight me. Take up your buckler and shield. Arise in my defense, Lord, my mighty help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am well pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before, before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil 
made from genuine aromatic nard, and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Iscariot, one of his disciples, and the one who would betray him, said, Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So Judas Iscariot pretends to be concerned about the poor. And um, we know it's not true because the text is explicit about uh, the fact that he was only saying that because he used to take from that money purse, that common money purse they had, and use it for himself. So he feigns, pretends uh, this concern for the poor. Uh, and he calls it uh, a waste. What Mary's doing, uh, Mary pouring this oil out on Jesus' feet, Consis it, considers it uh, wasteful. Uh, well, his, it is true it could be used, uh, money like that could be used for the poor, and we want to serve the poor, love the poor, see Jesus in the poor, actually, and minister to him in the poor as he's crying out and thirsting for our love in the poor. But on this occasion, it certainly wasn't a waste to use that very expensive nard, that uh, spiced oil, on Jesus. Because the moment had to be a moment rich in love, uh, extravagant in the expression of uh, love. The moment called for it. And Mary's heart knew that, this very precious moment with Jesus. Jesus had only recently raised her brother Lazarus from the dead. So how that increased love in that whole family, we can only imagine uh, uh, infinitely increased love in that family. So that called for a very extravagant response to Jesus. And then uh, they're very close to his being uh, given up to death. And he's told the people around him, he certainly told those closest to him, like a family, uh, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. He's told his apostles. Uh, they know they're heading to Jerusalem, and there he is going to, uh, he's going to be taken into the hands of wicked men, and he's going to die. So uh, another reason for the extravagance of love, the expression, the extravagant expression of love, towards Jesus on the part of Mary in this moment is that it's it's the last moment. It's her last opportunity. Next is going to be uh, the procession into Jerusalem and uh, Passion Week. So uh, this is the last, uh, the last moment for expressing this extravagant love for uh, Jesus Christ. And so you can't call even the use of rich uh, nard, uh, rich aromatic uh, spiced uh, oil, uh, you can't call it a waste when it's used to respond to Jesus raising somebody that we love from the dead and to express love uh, to Jesus when it's perhaps our last opportunity 
to express extravagant love for him before he goes to Calvary. All of that says it's a precious moment, extravagant moment that requires this very rich, extravagant expression of love. We don't want to waste the moment. It would be a waste of the oil not to use the oil to express this beautiful love for uh, Jesus Christ. So realizing the preciousness of the moment, uh, we can realize, compare it to our encounter with Jesus Christ in Holy Mass. We want to attend Mass, uh, encounter Jesus Christ, so grateful for everything he's done for us, every Mass, uh, encounter him, so grateful for everything he's done for us, certainly for him, him having raised us from the dead, which he's done. He's given us faith. He's given us spiritual life. He's raised us from the dead. It's a call for extravagant love towards Jesus. And we want to approach every Mass as if it were our last, our last opportunity to express how much we love him in the Eucharist. Now with great trust in our Lord's goodness and mercy towards us, uh, we bring to him our petitions. We pray first for our Holy Father, uh, Pope Francis, and for all those leading the church close to him, that our Lord guide them in all truth and protect them from error. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our civil leaders, especially for our president and our governor, as they guide us through this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. We ask the Lord to give them great wisdom for this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of us that we not waste any precious moment for showing our Lord uh, love, especially uh, waste any mass for showing our great love for him. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick and suffering, in particular anybody who is close to death. We ask the Lord to draw near and grant them his consolation. For this, we pray to the Lord. Finally, we pray for all who've died, for family members, friends, and parishioners who've gone before us. We ask the Lord to draw them into the beatific vision of heaven. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for hearing our petitions. We ask that you use these prayers joined to the sacred heart of your Son in this Eucharist to accomplish your glory. All this we pray through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred bear for us fruit in eternal life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty, and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. communion and upon. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear towards me on the day when I call speedily answer me.
spiritual communion prayer for those who cannot be physically present. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, Look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.